Bush that showed up today, he posted posting things on his own media site, uh, making a mockery of me and making that video. These are adults who are making fun of me, making fun of me like they're like school children. So I don't know if Cole wants to see see the videos that I have or if the, if they would be satisfied with my answer if they're not being here, I'm not sure you know. Let me let me just say uh, for the record that our hearing, uh, there was an agreement that was reached uh, that uh, Mr. Schmidt will not honk or blare his horn after 4 p.m. in the afternoon in the neighborhood. Uh, you're saying that Mr. Schmidt has not been in compliance with that order. And I can call a, a witness to that. And, and the, the date in question when I filed the contempt uh, The April 11th date? Yep, the Saturday, April 11th. He actually came close to the cat and threatened to uh, hurt me with a ratchet set. I have that audio and video with me. Um, and that was my biggest concern. I, I wasn't going to file a contempt on the, on the beeping horn. I'm pretty sure I can deal with that because I don't have my children with me. And the, the biggest concern would be when I lived right across the street from 75 Lever Street at the time was he was uh, disturbing the children and my, and my, my, you know, my six month old at the time. Um, so I wasn't overly concerned with it being a whole past three thirty being a you know, being childish, having the childish behavior. But the threat um, I actually take seriously from his actions in the past. Um, it's it's very this guy's very concerning, his wife is very concerning, and his friend Alan Gibbons is extremely concerning. Um, I did file a started to file a motion to add um, Jennifer Schmidt to the restraining order. Um, or or Alan Gibbons, his best friend, who seems to be over his house quite a bit. He was actually present on the Saturday, April 11th, and kind of edging him on to come to the CAC to confront me that day um, when he threatened me with a ratchet set. But I think there will be some type of language that he can't do that through third party. I think we, I, I would be satisfied with that instead of adding two other people that need to be here, that need to protect themselves, and waste the court's time and, you know, adding everybody and stop freaking, you know. So, so just to be clear, what is the video that you would propose to show? The you? threat. The ratchet threat and him going right in front of the Shire Free Church, 75 Leverage Street, and the Keene Activist Center, where I do business frequently, um, and throwing a bucket of something. Uh, it, it smelled, uh, I don't know if it was one of I don't know. But it's clear we have it on, on surveillance at at 75 letter of him coming in pro very close proximity to the and throwing a bucket of something right in front of this was just two days two days ago. You can't you can't let you have to testify yourself, you can't let yeah, other people. It, my wife's behind me because that haven't happened. Not not every day. Not not an issue. Um so that, that those were my those are my concerns. And I, I would ask the, the Court for a little bit further further relief to just keep the guy away from that. Uh, he's freaking me out. He's scared. He's scared a little bit. Let me. Uh, uh, what's what's the best way? Do you have the, the video queued yeah, up? Yeah, it's right here. It's right here. Maybe I'll, I'll step down, and, and it might be easier just for you to, to uh, turn it around and and, and uh, or or where where else? If you could bring it up and, and show it to me. Yes, absolutely. Okay, this is. Uh, 